हेलो वेलकम टू अमे कदम्स चैनल इन दिस लेक्चर वील सी दि कैलकुलेन आफ डिफरेंट पवर् गेन फॉर् दि एम्प्लीफयर नौ इन सच केस दे हव मेन्शन दीज एस पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द ट्रांजिस्टर एस वन वन एस वन टू एस टू वन एंड एस टू टू सोर्स इंपीडेंस एंड लोड इंपीडेंस आर गिवन एंड वेव टू कैलकुलेट power gain that is nothing but g available power gain that is nothing but ga and transducer power gain that is nothing but gt so we'll see the process or we'll first of all enlist all the formula and then we'll go for the calculation of this gain one by one so z0 is also mentioned it is 50 ohm so first of all we have to calculate source reflection coefficient that is gamma s that is zs minus z0 on zs plus z0 the next one is gamma l that is load reflection coefficient so it is zl minus z0 upon zl plus z0 once we calculate source and load reflection coefficient the next thing is we have to calculate the input reflection coefficient that is gamma in and the gamma in is nothing but s11 plus S one two S two one gamma L divided by one minus S two two gamma L. On a similar line, we can write down gamma out as this one will become two. So we will have S two two plus this will become S two one into S one two. So I will write again S one two S two one, and this is gamma S divided by one minus S one one gamma S. so now we will write down the expressions for the power gains and then we'll see how to calculate this power gains so uh, the first one is power gain g then you have available power gain that is ga and then you have transducer power gain that is gt now see the simplified method to write down the formula for these three power gains so in all the uh, we have two formulas for the gt so we'll write it equal to over here and now one can memorize like this see here carefully in every expression we'll have h2 one square over here okay now for the power gain we have 1 upon 1 minus mod of gamma in square For G A, it will be one by one minus mod of gamma out square. So one can remember like this: one upon one minus gamma in square over here, and one upon one minus gamma out square over here. Now uh, there there is one more factor over here and one more factor over here. So how to write down this thing? We'll see. Before that, we'll proceed for the formula of the G T. So the formula for the G T goes like this: one has to prepare. Uh, Like this, one minus mod of gamma a square, one minus mod of gamma l square. This is from the source side. This is from the load side. The same thing I will write over here. One minus mod of gamma a square, one minus mod of gamma l square. Okay. Now in the denominator, we write down one minus gamma s. Leave some space and square it. One minus gamma l. Leave some space and square it. So same thing I will write over here. Okay. Now see here. This is from the input side, so it is related with the port one. You can say. So if you are writing S one one over here, then here it will it will not be S two two. It will be gamma out. And if you are writing S two two over here, then here it won't be S one one. It will be gamma in. So remember like this: here it is gamma in, here it is gamma out, here it is S11, here it is S22. Now, 
we have to complete the formula for the power gain so here it will be 1 minus on a similar line one can write 1 minus mod of gamma l square and here it is will be 1 minus mod of gamma a square so here it is 1 minus gamma l 1 minus gamma s and scattering parameters will come over here since gamma is mentioned over here so one has to write on s2 over here and one has to write on s11 over here so this is how we can memorize the formula for the different gain in a simple manner okay i will repeat first of all you have to write down one minus one upon one minus gamma in square over here then one minus one one upon one minus gamma out square over here and in every formula you have h to one square after this we will proceed for the transducer power gain one minus gamma I square one minus gamma l square mod of gamma l square and here it is one minus gamma is gamma l same thing i have mentioned over here now there are two expressions for the transducer power gain if you are writing s11 along with gamma s then here you have to write down gamma out and if you are writing s22 over here then you here you have to write down gamma in so gamma in over here gamma out over here s11 over here s22 over here so here this part you have to copy over here and whereas for the available power gain you have to copy this part over here so one can memorize it like this now we will proceed for the calculation of these power gains so what i will do this is parameters and these things i will calculate and i will store in the calculator so what i suggest you store s11 as a s12 as b s21 as c and s22 as d and before calculation of this one one can easily calculate gamma s and gamma l so it will be zs zs is mentioned as 25 25 minus 50 upon 25 plus 50 so it turns out to be minus 25 by 75 so minus 0 0.333 now gamma a so it will be zl minus z0 so it will be 40 minus 50 divided by zl plus z0 that is 40 plus 50 so it turns out to be 10 by 90 and it turns out to be sorry minus 10 by 90 so minus 0 0.111 okay now i am storing these a s parameters as a b c d while gamma s and gamma l i will store as variable e and f over here so see the calculation so ensure that your calculator is in complex and degree mode so i will be storing this one first one so 0 0.38 angle minus 158 as a next one 0 0.11 shift angle 54 as b then 3.5 angle 80 as c and the last one 0 0.4 shift angle minus 43 and t so i have stored these parameters now i will store these e and f as gamma s and gamma l so minus 0 0.333 it's stored as e okay and minus 0 0.111 sorry minus 0 0.111 it's stored as f okay now it proceeds for the calculation of a gamma a and now this formula will become a over here here you will have b here you will have c here you will have f and 1 minus h2 t is nothing but our d and gamma l is nothing but our f so my formula will be a plus bcf divided by 1 minus df so i will type this thing over here okay the first one is a so alpha a plus 
this part I am typing, typing so b alpha b into alpha c into alpha f and over here you have 1 minus alpha d into alpha f so when we will calculate this thing and we will convert this into polar format so it turns out to be 0 0.365 angle minus 152 degree similarly we will calculate gamma out but here it will be d this will become b into c into this is nothing but e and it will be 1 minus a into and gamma s is nothing but your e so we will go to earlier expression I will make the modification over here instead of a you will have d ok rather I will type the new one so I am typing this expression alpha d plus this part so that is b into c into alpha e divided by 1 minus s1 1 is nothing but a into gamma s gamma is nothing but our e so we'll calculate this one and convert it into polar format so it turns out to be 0 0.545 0 0.545 angle minus 42.98 So by storing these parameters, one can simplify the thing. Now before proceeding ahead, one can store gamma in as x over here and gamma out as y over here in the calculator. Just now I have calculated the answer of gamma out. So I will store this answer as y, gamma out as y. Now I forgot to store the answer of x so again I will type this and I will store it in x ok so I can use the appropriate thing over here and I can calculate g just I will show you the calculation of the g over here so this is nothing but I am typing this thing so 1 divided by 1 minus mod of so here you have to use this absolute sign this one is absolute yeah this is clear and gamma n is nothing but x so we will type alpha x square and then here you will have h to 1 square so into absolute of h21 is nothing but our c if c square into now this part 1 minus now this is gamma l gamma l is nothing but our f gamma l is nothing but our f so again shift absolute for f you come out and you type okay square and here in the denominator it is again mod of so shift absolute 1 minus gamma l gamma l is nothing but f for f into and h22 is nothing but our d so if uh, d oh i forgot to mention square over here so i will mention that thing and i will press equal to so I will get the answer for the G, it turns out to be 13.08. Okay. So on similar line you can calculate G A and G T. So on similar if you calculate G A and G T, G A turns out to be 
19.8 while GT you can use any one formula and it turns out to be 12.6 you can verify these calculations okay so I have explained in this lecture I have explained you how to memorize or how to remember the formula of the gain expressions and how to calculate this thing in a simpler manner so we'll take one more numerical in the next lecture if you have any query you can feel free to contact through email My email id is kadam dot ameya at gmail.com thanks for watching